Yo guys, what fight do we that Henry, the protagonist of Benny and the Ink Machine, might show up in Boris in the Dark Survival? You think I'm crazy? Wait till you hear this. <laughs> Yo, what's up guys, it's just Games here, and welcome back to another video. Today, we're theorizing about Henry Stein being in Boris and Dark Survival. Let's get it. In the new Boris and Dark Survival update, Symphony of Shadows, we got plenty of new rooms, lore, and a new character to play as. Y'all already know, your boy main ass Sammy. He's easier to maneuver. Who do you play as? Comment below. Anyways, in this update, we got the Golden Days Gallery, holding the winning art from the fan art contest a while back. There's also a last one who sounds eerily familiar to Henry, but there's some differences here or there. Where's my old desk? I've wasted so much time in this chair. How does one even visualize a concept as incredible as this? Not only that, he's appreciating the art on the wall. Henry was an artist in the studio, an artist usually appreciate others' art. So could this last one be a foreshadow of Henry's reveal or a coincidence? Usually blocked doors are the doors holding the next room to the next update. And with the Golden Days Gallery holding that door, I'll say that behind that door is an art department, which we weren't able to access in chapter one of Benny and the Ink Machine. In chapter three, down the hallway, there's a blocked off door, which we were able to access in Boris and Dark Survival. Boris said, Fuck, I've been through too much. Block that door. Would they do the same for the art department in Boris and Dark Survival? And you might wonder, why the art department? Well, the Golden Days Gallery is filled with art and with an art appreciative lost one. If that's not a foreshadow, then I don't know what is. Also, if you notice, in Boris and Dark Survival, we're going back in time. You see, in the initial release of Boris and Dark Survival, we start with the Ink Demon trying to rip us apart, but he roams around everywhere in Boris and Dark Survival and Benny and the Ink Machine, like a hobo, so he doesn't count. In the Whoop Trials, which the updates levels were based off several levels in Chapter 3, we start with the projectionist trying to kill us, which we met the old lighthead at the near end of Chapter 3 of Benny and the Ink Machine. Then after collecting all the items, in the update, we meet Alice Angel, who was trying to kill us as well, who we got to meet in the middle of chapter 3 as well. Then, in the Alicia update, we meet the cripple, I mean, the butcher gang, which we met one of them at the near beginning of chapter 3 also. Now, in this new update, Symphony of Shadows, which the update levels were based off the music department of Benny and the Ink Machine, we got Sammy, which we met in chapter 2 of Benny and the Ink Machine. And guess what's before chapter 2 of Benny and the Ink Machine? Chapter 1, where the art department is located and where we meet the Olympic artists. You see, Boris and the Dark Survival is an indirect prequel. We go back in time like a can of time while yet Sammy as an ally. You see, indirect. So don't expect Henry to turn on the ink machine or to perform Boris in this update. Though having him sit on the chair like a chapter 3 as we play as Henry would really be a neat reference to, you get my point. You might wonder why the Boris and Dark Survival timeline doesn't start around chapter 5 of Benny and the Ink Machine. Well, he died before chapter 5. R.I.P. Floopy Snoot. But meeting Henry in the next update is at the end of Boris and Dark Survival. We got a few more coming. If you notice, in these updates, the quantity of items are getting smaller. Look at the item list that we need to collect for each update. 7 scraps for the initial release of the game, 5 tapes and 1 key for the Whoop Trials, 5 keys for the Unleash, and 4 candles and 1 bending mask for Symphony of Shadows. The amount of items that we need to collect are progressing down and sure the quantity of items do repeat like in the Unleash and Symphony of Shadows having 5 items to collect, but if we get rid of the extra items, which is the semi mask, we only have 4 items, which shows that we have more updates coming since the items that we need to collect isn't down by 1. So, if we're going back in time, who are we going to meet since in the next update after Henry we pass the Benny and the Ink Machine timeline? Again, since Boris and the Dark Survival isn't a direct prequel, we might see other characters from Benny and the Ink Machine like Allison and Tom arriving in the next updates. The Benny and the Ink Machine timeline was used as a base for evidence of Henry being in the next update, but in those other updates, maybe in the timeline before Benny and the Ink Machine, we might actually explore a glimpse of what we will see in Benny and the Dark Revival, since it isn't a prequel or a sequel. It can actually be both, and since it is both, one of them being a prequel, I have a feeling that maybe, just maybe, we might see the protagonist of Benny and the Dark Revival being in Boris and the Dark Survival as a big surprise, Audrey. And I have a strong feeling that we will meet the guy in the secret audio tape in Boris and the Dark Survival. It's important to see. And the secret unknown audio tape that we see in Joyju Studios a while back as well. 
How very interesting. Such knowledge. But that's just a theory for another time. That's it for this video. If you guys like my content, chillax and check out my channel. Also, thank you guys for submitting your questions for the Q&A a week ago. I'll be answering your questions soon in a video. And with that, this is Light Just Games, and I am out.